they what is up? That'll hold them up for a while. What is up, everybody? It is Tog here, and welcome back to some more Plague Tale Innocence Extras. This time, we're going for the two curiosities that were missed in the path before us, Chapter 7. I also want to point out that there was a slightly different dialogue. I decided to let Hugo take care of that, and Melly take care of that, and I walked across first. And Hugo made a comment like, Amicia, you're not leaving without me, are you? And he's like, no, don't worry, I'm just trying to find a way to get you across. And then Melly was like... You sound like Arthur there, which, I don't know, depending on how they were talking about their whole, like, imagined romance and stuff, I thought it was kind of interesting that they have similar dynamics here that, uh, hopefully, uh, Melly doesn't have fear that Arthur's gonna leave for something at some point. Um, but yeah, so first, we gotta come up here, over, across, and smash this thing right here. Well and then Thanks. we can go grab, I don't really remember what it is, but it's the first curiosity, so... Uh, luckily I'm not gonna have to do that stupid puzzle again, uh, but uh, and I got some of them so it's not gonna be as difficult. Poor Hugo's wondering if we're gonna leave it every little thing. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. On the wall, huh? Hmm. Horseshoe. Wow, we're rich. Haha. be rich, but a little luck would be appreciated. That's fair. I think, uh... If was found under horse's hooves, then farriers would rule the world. Fair enough. Alright, let's read about it. Horseshoe. As quality of life improves, population size grows faster than food production. Added to the various plagues befalling the crops, this makes famine take on a dramatic dimension, pushing poor and rich to superstition. Despite their new role as good luck charms, horseshoes are still expensive pieces of ironwork that are crucial to farming. Using them to attract luck is a major sacrifice for a farmer. Really, I don't really know how these are used in uh, farm work. I don't really know anything about horseshoe other than the game. You can play with the horseshoe where you toss it and you try to get it close to the thing, but uh... Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know it was used in farm work. That's cool. If anyone's familiar with that, I'd love to hear about it. Alright, I'm back, and uh, the last curiosity is right under that tent. If you can remember this place, a forest area, I just like kind of like waltzed through while they were talking. I made it pretty quickly. I think that's how we move forward. So we're going to do this first, and then we're going to leave like usual. But I don't know, this might be slightly more difficult, because I think they there's two and they're right next to it. Let me make some more Devarantis. I, I don't know how much noise this is going to make, uh, but I'm going to do my best. Just uh, two quick kills, and we can get the curiosity fine and dandy. Bang! Alright. Uh, hopefully that didn't make too much noise. I don't think it did. Um, so let's just go see what this last curiosity is lying right here. A map of the whole country. Ooh. What are these bastards up to? Planning, maybe? Uh, that was not much dialogue there, but that's okay. Let's go. We got 14 out of 26 here. We got 7 out of 11 gifts. 4 out of 13 Hugos for Barium, and that's all the top for all of the collectibles for the first seven chapters so when i record chapter eight this coming week it'll be pretty much all said and i'll be caught up and it won't be as all back and forward anymore this does look like an interesting map um of the country it looks like all of europe really it looks like it's slightly different shaped as this was a long time ago you know the shifting of the plates and stuff like that it looks like there's like a bird in the middle right there islands look a little closer to each other i don't know interesting widespread among noble and learned circles maps are rare and expensive as well as imprecise this is why practical and inexpensive directional signs proliferate at road intersections. The villages, sometimes located several days' walk of each other, are ravaged by famine, war, and disease. It is through these same roads that the plague travels, accompanying the fleeing populations who follow the saying, Leave quickly, go far, and come back late. Leave quickly, go far, and come back late. Yeah, they, you definitely want to get out of the plague and hope it doesn't catch up to you. That's very interesting. But yeah, that's all for this episode. A pretty quick one, but... Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more content. I hope you enjoy your night, evening, morning. Whatever it is that you're doing. Stay awesome. Peace out.